Welcome, Bumblebees, to an episode of this podcast, Cafecito with the Bibi. My name is Bibi. In today's episode, I actually want to talk about a question that I did receive for what is the best time or the best ideal way to pay off your credit cards. So which one should you pay off first? Well, um, I'm going to have to say on, on that aspect that everything is regarded, uh, in regarding to the intention that you start your journey, journey with. So what is your intention? What is the ultimate goal that you want to accomplish? If your ultimate goal is to pay off your credit cards and be good with credit cards, like not using them anymore, close everything, not caring about credit score, none of that BS at all, then uh, I will definitely recommend to start with the lowest, the one that you owe the lowest first, and then work yourself up to that. And as soon as you pay off the first one, then uh, call the company and close up that credit card as soon as you do it. And obviously, before you you start any journey with that, um, I always suggest to cut them off, cut off your credit cards, and then um, start the, the journey. So so you don't have the temptation to use them until you complete the, the journey. And then from there, uh, whatever steps that you need to take. So anyways... Um, <laughs> I digress. So from that point, then if your goal, um, maybe your goal is um, to pay off your credit cards and you want to start over with the, uh, you know, with your credit cards and, and actually do it better or do it better, quote unquote, because I really don't think it's a better way. I really think that it goes along the way on you made a decision to pay over time whatever is it that you you wanted to buy to purchase to invest on or whatever and you made that decision based on the resources that you have at the time and it just seems that uh using a credit card using a loan it was the best idea at the moment no regrets uh things happen and and just work towards that of self-forgiveness and releasing all guilt, which, by the way, is something that I bring up into my program, Financial Fit, but I will uh, talk about it in a, um, after I'm done with the question. So um, anyways, uh, maybe also your intention or your ultimate goal is to have better credit score. Okay, so if you want to have better credit score, definitely I will suggest for you to leave your credit cards that are high quality credit cards. In this case, um, it could be Chase or Bank of America. Like those are the banks credit cards that you can use for high quality uh, range and that it will uh, bump up your um, your credit score. And then uh, we also have Capital One. We also have American Express. So those are the the main credit cards that you can use that are uh, high quality for you to keep on on the on the good side of your your credit. And there are lower quality credit cards that I will suggest for you to stay away from from that. Um, some of them are Destiny, Milestone. Um, I think there's another one that come out as, uh, uh, lately, um, search or something like that. Um, so one of those as well. So maybe that is your intention. That is your intention to start over. And, and like I said, okay, just do that one. Uh, maybe your intention is also to start over and be like use your your cash rewards in a different way than the way you were using them before right like uh you wanna um, you wanna create something else or you wanna achieve some other goal then at that time uh or at that point i will say well you know what then start with that credit card that is gonna give you the best cash rewards to pay it off first and then use a credit card to pay your bills, get the cash rewards, um, you know, pay your bills, like uh, if you can pay your rent, if you better, 
um, if you can pay uh, like gas, uh, grocery shopping, you know, sometimes gas gives you like higher um, cashback rewards, then go ahead and use that one. And of course, when you use that, uh, when you get the, the cash rewards into your car, then use those cash rewards to pay off the, the next the next one that you have on the list. Um, maybe also you want to, um, well, those are the main, the main goals that I have right now that I can think of. Uh, I haven't received any, if you have any other goals that you might, um, I can give you suggestions. Now, these are only suggestions. This is not like by the book and you should be doing exactly this as I'm saying. Because le let me tell you something that I have learned from not listening to the experts. That when I guide myself using my intuition, I have led to better options. Yes, of course, I do still listen to experts and I take what it serves me and I disregard what it does not serve me or what it doesn't feel right with me or whatever is that is. It doesn't feel intuitive for me to do that. So yeah, always, always listen to your intuition and like I mentioned at the beginning, um, or somewhere in the beginning, um, I used to, I used to have this program, uh, pay your debt or bal uh, balance zero, pay off balance zero. Uh, and it was a, a program to pay off your credit cards. And I teach you step by step. Now, of course, I'm going to still have the step by step. But the thing is that I have been adding um, content into that mini course that I actually decided to retire so I can create I can make it better for you to to have like the better information for you and I have decided to call it uh, the way I call my my program or the uh, <clears throat> or the um, uh, how can I say it? the um, yeah well I mean <laughs> Is a financial fit action plan. So like, for example, my budget, which a uh, quote unquote, which I don't call it a budget anymore. I actually call it lifestyle plan. So I call it the um, financial fit lifestyle plan. So the same way goes to my strategy <laughs> to pay off your credit cards and your loans, which is financial fit action plan. And that's how I'm going to call it now, um, just so I can... I can create the same pathway on everything that I have been, I have been created on courses um, for you to learn. And of course, uh, this course is going to be the same settings as the other ones you have. You will have lifetime access. Whoever already purchased the first program, they will have access to the financial fit action plans and no extra cost. So even though the financial fit uh, action plan is going to be it's going to cost a little bit more uh, only because I do have more uh, content and I also have added modalities that is going to help you and assist you on working through um, releasing the pressure that you feel when it's paying off your credit cards and also um, the guilt and the shame feelings that you have when you're using a credit cards or loans because let, let's be honest, um, society and how it's being handled on the social media about using debt, it has been like shame on you and you should feel uh, guilty for using this and, you know, things like that. And I don't believe that nobody has the right to make you feel that way at all. So this financial defeat action plan it really is not just about the strategy but it, it is also a journey for you to learn and for you to uh, liberate yourself from shame from guilt and from pressure about this journey everything that can create those um, those emotions because you know uh, like my mentors say that the energy that you put into something, it will be the outcome that you have on that 
journey that you're you're starting or that you, you that thing that you're creating and energy really is um it's like emotions like tony robbins says emotions are energy in motion so that energy is that those emotions that you put when you start a journey so you start a journey very hopeful but then you kind of lose your way when you start um letting those negative feelings or those lower vibration feelings like guilt, shame, and pressure um, take over and then you kind of like quit the journey. So this is the program that I'm helping you through it to help you getting out of um, uh, paying off your credit card. And whatever decision that you make, you're going to make it out of at a place of healing. You're going to make it at a place of knowing what your higher self or your intuition is telling you because it's going to feel better for you, whatever decision you make after paying off your credit cards. So, of course, yes, it, it is the strategy is about learning about what credit it is, because sometimes if you learn the topics, you also can make the best decision. So it is all that. It is the uh, the learning. It is the strategy. It is the path of um, forgiveness, releasing pressure, releasing guilt, releasing shame, but also um, adopting a healthy relationship with uh, credit cards and loans if you decided to to use them. Right. So um, that is the entire program how it is. And I'm still working on the on the details because, like I said, it's a whole new rebrand. Um, it is, you know, new pictures, new everything. So I just actually had a photo shoot uh, about that, that I'm going to be um, releasing soon. I still don't have the details because I'm working on releasing another program, but I'm going to drop the link for you to uh, sign up for the waiting list. You can choose whatever program that you want. You can, um, I have three programs so, so far and I'm just, I, I have ideas for more. But uh, three programs so far, which is uh, making money your best friend, uh, the mega course that is the biggest one, and then I have the breaking the barriers, which is uh, breaking the barriers of limiting beliefs, and that is part of a collection from the uh, making money your best friend. So that is part of the collection because um, it is is major, is the the main point, uh, literally. Uh, of making money your best friend you literally work through limiting beliefs anyways and then we have this one that i'm talking about today financially fit action plan so whatever you decide that you want to maybe you want the three of them you want updates on the three the three of them so i'm gonna put the link on the description down below so you can uh you can definitely um get your your name and i can get your email so i can send you those those updates and if you sign up for my free community free uh, my free community i have the starting of the launching of any program and all my members get a special prizes so a special coupons for them to to join that has nothing to do with the people that sign up on the waiting list so whoever signs up on the sign up on the wedding list and it's not on the queen bee community they have another another offer so the best offer that you can get is through the queen bee community and i'm gonna i'm gonna put also the the link below so you can join the community it's completely free but you will have all the updates through the community as well so anyways bumblebee um i hope you have liked uh, today's uh, episode about uh, credit cards and if you have more questions I'm also going to put a link so you can submit your questions and I can bring them on on uh, on another episode so for every questions that you might have I can drop them in there and if you like it please subscribe I also have the the giveaway uh, contest so um, if you leave a um, a review on the Apple podcast, you can send the screenshot to hello at the Mindful Tasks Academy and you can be the winner for a gift card that I am going to be giving away, an Amazon gift card for $50. So um, please start sending it because uh, next month I'm going to announce the, the winner. So thank you so much for listening today. 
and I hope you have liked. Please subscribe, follow, and leave the comments about what, what is it that you think about this episode. Well, uh, thank you so much. And remember, it's a baby thing you wouldn't understand.